And we're back. Mike Cernovich, DangerInPlay.com, Gorilla Mindset. How you doing? A lot of you want to know what is next. I've been thinking about it. What's next? We had the deplorable. Biggest event, inauguration week. We had the most riots, the most protesters. Drew Carey's own son, 11 years old. Why he was out by himself, I don't know. Burned a flag in front of our event. Drew Carey has not apologized to me. I think that he should. What are you going to do? We had the Bull Moose Party in Washington, D.C. Everybody agreed the best party is CPAC week. Then we had a brunch. No, no, we had... Yeah, we had a brunch in D.C. and then we had a happy hour in New York. So what is going on? What's going on is there are so many of us and we got to meet more in real life. So we're announcing a brand new project. I'm done with MAGA 3X, more or less. There's Syra Community. So community is important. Here's the next idea. Tell me what you think. And if you agree with me, post to the hashtag MAGA meetups, plural. M-A-G-A meetups, plural. So here's the idea. Once a month, once a month we want to have events all across the country, maybe all across the world. A lot of you are in the UK, a lot of you are in Ireland, a lot of you are in Canada, all over the world. Don't think in terms of it has to be a big party. It has to be like the deplorable. It has to be like the, the bull moose. No, 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 no. Go have coffee with your friends. Have dinner. Something kind of cool. We're going to coordinate regional, regional meetups all across the country. We're going to call it hashtag MAGA meetups. So what I want you to do is if you want to be involved, because there's an, I created the, the Twitter profile today. I have no followers and it's an egg account. I haven't even got graphics or anything. It's just a raw idea. So do you think this is a good idea? And do you want to be involved? Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me. MAGA meetups. What do you think MAGA meetups should look like? And by the way, while you're doing this, post to the hashtag on Twitter, M-A-G-A, M-E-E-T-U-P-S, MAGA meetups. What we're going to do is that's how we're going to kind of connect people. So what we've learned is that people from Twitter will meet in the real world. So people don't want to just be online. People want to hang out. There's this image that everybody's a basement dweller, antisocial. Well, if that were true, how come I throw... It's kind of funny because I'm an antisocial guy, very introverted. I like being alone by myself, listening to house music or hanging out with my dog. I don't go out much. Through the biggest parties. The biggest, biggest, best parties. Well, why? Because there is such desperation. And I don't like that word because it has a negative connotation. So we're not going to say desperation. There is such a desire. There is a desire for community and to connect with other people. I heard that especially in D.C. because, as you know, Virginia is very liberal. D.C. is very liberal. So people feel isolated. And the fake news media wants you to feel it's a psyop. Remember, the fake news media wants you to feel isolated. They want you to feel like nobody else thinks like you, nobody's like you, hide out, Nobody cares. Nobody cares about you. Well, it's not true. There are so many of us. We're in New York. We were in, I was in New York night before last. Again, all I did was put out a couple tweets. No organization, no advertising, no nothing. We had 50 people show up to a random bar. I think we we're in Midtown. We had 50 people show up just randomly, right? A couple tweets. That's all it takes. So we could have big, huge events everywhere. But here's what I want you to think of. This has to be grassroots. There has to be buy-in from you. So here's what we're going to do. Post to the hash. Yeah, a lot of people missed the New York event. People go, Mike, I didn't even know there was an event. Yeah, I know I didn't hype it up. I just posted a couple of tweets. Post to the hashtag MAGA meetups. And when you post to the hashtag MAGA meetups, people are going to kind of have to figure it out yourselves because we want regional events. As you know, I don't run a big operation. There's no nonprofit. There's no P.O. box where you can send contributions. This is about grassroots organization, meet up from the ground up, maybe have a 4th of July MAGA meetup, right? So the July 4th could come by. You meet with everybody on MAGA meetups. You go to the hashtag, and then you find out where these events are going to be. So if you're in Phoenix, Arizona, Chicago, Illinois, Dallas, Texas, New York, Washington, D.C., Boise, Idaho, San Francisco, Orange County, California. I'll probably head up those. Maybe Huntington Beach. We had a big election night party in Huntington Beach, too. Los Angeles. We've had meetups in Los Angeles. Post 
to the hashtag MAGA meetups and say where you are and then talk to each other, right? That's another reason too, this is a great way to get more Twitter in action. A lot of people go, Mike, they go, Mike, how do I grow my Twitter following? How do, and they always want me to retweet them. I've actually started flagging uh, spam. People just abuse it. They keep copying and pasting their tweets to me and then I can't even read my own DMs. Well, how do you build a Twitter following? Well, if we're doing something cool, like MAGA meetups, then go to the hashtag, post the hashtag, and connect with people. And just say, hey, anybody? does anybody want to meet in Phoenix? Does anybody want to meet in Chicago? Does anybody want to, want to meet in D.C.? Does anybody want to meet wherever? And then we'll build it up. Now, big picture-wise, what would I like to see big picture-wise, right? I talked to some great people at the Bull Moose Party who want to help organize. I would like to have a regional coordinator. Somebody who could maybe have an updated website and we could announce these events and I could have a big regional coordinator who could keep track of everything because as you know, I, I can't even keep track of myself. Shauna keeps track of me, otherwise I don't know what's going on on a given day. So yeah, what we're going to do, yeah, regional director of events who can organize everybody, put everything together. So there you go. This is next. I told you we had big things planned. A lot of people didn't realize. And then here's what a lot of people say. A lot of people go, Mike, why do you have parties? I block these people on Twitter. Mike, why are you throwing parties? Well, I don't know. Why do I want people who are like-minded to get together in a room in real life? Like, what kind of dumb question is that, right? I don't block people for disagreeing with me, but I block people who are but just not smart enough to read me and talk to us. I don't know why in the world would I want to throw people together in the same room, right? What kind of dumb, idiotic question? Why would somebody ask a question like that? Maybe they've never had a friend before. Maybe they don't know there's magic. When you put the right people in a room, there's a certain magic that happens. And that's why we're pro-social. Also, it harms the media messaging. Here's how it harms it. People who come to my events, anybody, have, if you've ever been to an event with me, Say yeah. Anybody who has will tell you the diversity I actually get at my event is way better than all these liberal groups get, right? But I don't use my people as human shields. I'm not going to be like, oh, here's this guy and here's that girl. I don't do that. I don't use people like human shields. That is demeaning. That's why I hate identity politics. It's demeaning. But anybody who comes to my events, has ever been to a girl of mindset seminar, ever been to any kind of meetup, compare that to the lily white things with all the left, the town halls in San Diego where all the liberals are invading. Take a picture, look at the pictures. Then come to one of my events. Take a look at who actually, who actually shows up because that's the real world, right? The real world is that the identity politics, the fake news media has given us, is meant to divide us. Why? Easier to steal. If you're George Soros, you're Saudi Arabia, or you're part of the military industrial complex and you're making all that money, you don't want people thinking about how much money you're making. You don't want people asking questions. Well, wait a minute. Where did all this money? Remember those pallets of money? Literally, you can Google this. You can fact check me. Pallets of money on the way to Iraq. Pallets disappeared. Well, people who ask those questions are dangerous, so they want to divide everybody along race, gender, gender identity. That's the left because they're all, they're all the same team. We know that. That's why we voted for Trump. Jeb Bush or Hillary Clinton? Jeb Bush or Hillary Clinton, would there have been a difference? Mitt Romney or Obama, I didn't vote. John McCain, what, what has happened to him, by the way? He's going, I think he was always senile. John McCain or Obama, right? Who cares? Lindsey Graham or Obama, right? They're all the same. Until Trump came along, there was really no point to even be involved politically because all they care about is making a lot of money for Wall Street, the military industrial complex. They don't care anything about regular people like us. So what are we going to do? Show force. Now, is this leading to something bigger? By the way, the hashtag is MAGA meetups. Post the hashtag MAGA meetups. Because where is it leading? Start small, think big. Remember that. The What the media wants you to believe is that you're insignificant because only, right? I hate that word, only. Mike, I don't want to have an event. I can only get three people. Well, that's three more people than you had before, right? That's that the media be like, oh, only three people showed. Ha oh, ha they right expecting everybody to have a huge platform. Not everybody has a big platform. Start small, think big. Because where is this leading? Well, I'll tell you where it's gonna lead. 2018. We gotta take some scalps. 
anybody opposing Trump and the GOP, we're going to have to we're going to have to take our scalps. So how are we going to take our scalps? Well, what if we already have the infrastructure right? Rev 18 is that hashtag, and we'll talk more about that as the midterms. Midterm elections are what? Only 33 percent of the turnout. All right. So the midterm elections are where we can really do. I'm not going to say do damage because that'll end up somewhere, is where we can have the most impact. See, you always got to phrase things carefully because I have spies watching right now, I'm sure, trying to clip this out of context, you know. We can have the most impact in the midterms because not that many people go, the in, go out. But how do you create impact in 2018? This is where people go wrong in life. People go wrong in life because they never get started. Well, if you want to have impact in 2018, if you've been meeting for coffee every month, if you've been meeting for dinner, if we've been doing this all across the country, we have these, no have you ever watched those network effects with all those little nodes? And they'll say, here's a node, here's a node, here's a node, here's a node. Well, a great life tip, you can even find this in business. They go, never eat lunch alone, right? Well, I eat lunch alone a lot, but I'm always on Periscope. So that is the introvert's way of never eating lunch alone. You become a network node, and then you connect more people. And then as 2018 approaches, people who are at a MAGA meet, I predict right now, well, the Bull Moose Party, I don't have to predict it. We made history. We had a candidate for United States Senate in Massachusetts announce his campaign at one of our meetups at the Bull Moose Party, right? Did you all see that? So I predict that somebody who attends a MAGA meetup will be elected to Congress for the first time in 2018. Write, write it down and put it in an envelope. Write it down right now, screen cap this, clip this out, and then you can laugh at me when I'm wrong, but as you know, I'll be right. I predict that somebody who attends a MAGA meetup will be elected to Congress for the first time in 2018 because of community. Dr. Kelly Ward, who's going to go after Jeff Flake, we got to get Jeff Flake out of the Senate. Very hard to take out incumbents. So yeah, no, we have, no, no, we have our scalpel. I, I can't say hit list because again, they'll ban me. They, they all want, they want to shut us down because they can't beat us in the war of ideas, right? Because when we have events, we win. When we have free speech, we win. So what I want you to do again, this is the thing to do today. Hashtag MAGA meetups, post to the hashtag, even if you don't want to say MAGA meetups Indianapolis, MAGA meetups Chicago, MAGA meetups Boise, MAGA meetups New York, MAGA meetups Washington. Just post to the hashtag. Let people know that there's interest because I don't want to waste my time, right? I don't want to do something that isn't going to work, but I'm, I mean, it's going to work. I know it's going to work already. And then here's the fundamental mindset shift that you have to make. I don't want anybody to not believe in themselves. That's the problem. People are going to say right now, here's what people are saying. I can read your minds across this phone. Right now, there are people thinking, maybe it's you, thinking, I can't get anybody to come out. Who little old me? I can't, you know. I can maybe only get one person. Come on. If you only make one friend in your life, you're doing pretty good. Most people don't actually have real friends. Most people don't have friends, let alone multiple. So if you can only get one person out, that's fantastic. You hang out, you meet up. We can get, of course, we'll get bigger ones in New York. That's why every time I have a seminar, I go, don't come to watch me. Don't even come talk to me. That doesn't sound right. Come talk to me. Say hi. But don't come to my events because you want to meet me. Come to my events because you want to meet three, four, five other people and you want to connect with other people because you might never see me again. This isn't some kind of like Cernovich the Celebrity nonsense. All right? I don't care about any of that crap. In fact, I'm the opposite. I want to build up so many of you that I don't have to do any of this stuff. Because I just like to write about mindset and cold showers, Wim Hof breathing, this political stuff. What I mean, read my old stuff. I thought politics was a waste of time. But we had to, we had to do it. So go to the hashtag MAGA3X meetups. Post there. Let people know if you want to host one, if you think it's a good idea. I don't know. You can even let me think if it's a bad idea. But that's the next step. And then we're slowly building. So we had the deplorable. We had the bull moose party. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We might, we might counter-program the White House Correspondence Center. So I, I shouldn't even be telling you this because it might not happen. And I don't want to look like a flake if it doesn't happen. But I'll just let you know what we're working on. So you know how there was the White House Correspondents' Dinner on, I think, April 29th. And then the media tried to boycott Trump. So then Trump just said, fine, I'm going to boycott it. And then the media got mad that Trump boycotted it, which I thought was hilarious. It was one of those things where the media is like, you can't, 
you can't fire us, we quit. How dare you, right? We're thinking to do on our own and have people like Jim Hoff, Lucy and Wintrich, the right, cool people, right? Real, real media, real news, the kind of people that the White House Correspondents Dinner wouldn't want there, doing our own, doing our own thing, kind of programming it. But that isn't for sure yet. We're also thinking about having a big event either in Phoenix, Arizona, or Miami, in Florida. We're thinking maybe August, maybe September. We want to have a big event. Some people want to cruise. A lot. There's a lot. That's the thing. Here's we right now. There are no shortage of good ideas because the number one thing I learned that people want community. Why do people want community? What is the number one deepest human need we all have? Answer. Answer me. What do you think? What is the number one human need that we all have? There's the right answer. Connection. See exactly. Human connection is the number one. That's why if you understand it that way, connection means friendship, it means business, it means being socially engaged as a civic citizen, it means a relationship, right? Family, it all is, human connection is the deepest need people have, and community is just another form of human connection. So what we're doing is building our own human social networks, recognizing that people do want to do things together, people want to have meetups every month, people want to go to a happy hour, have a dinner together, talk to people who are like-minded. And not have to not have to hide what you believe or, or worry about being censored. So I'm gonna get headed out of here. Hashtag MAGA meetups. Post to the hashtag, even if you aren't, aren't gonna go to one. You don't have to commit to anything right now. But I want to get a sense of how many people are gonna do it. And then if there's enough of you, post to the hashtag MAGA meetups. And you have to post it on Twitter. If you post it on a Periscope, it doesn't show up. If there's enough people posting to it on Twitter, then we can have a regional coordinator start to reach out to people, figure out something else. Does that make sense? What's the hashtag of the day? We're doing it right now on Twitter. MAGA meetups, plural. M-A-G-A-M-E-E-T-U-P-S, MAGA meetups. Thanks for tuning in. Mike Sermich, DangerPlay.com, Gorilla Mindset. I will hold my, hold my own in Huntington Beach, probably. So if you are in Huntington Beach, Laguna Beach, even LA, I'll be heading one here, so... And even better would be cool if we could Skype people. There's a lot of things we could do. That's the whole thing is if people are willing to do it and willing to go to things, then the infrastructure is easy. Then we can Skype people in. We could even do one, like a round. There's all kinds of cool things. But for now, let's make sure it's a good idea. Let's make sure it's going to happen. Post to the hashtag MAGA Meetups. I'll talk to you soon.